Hello friends, this is our Black Friday deal running through the weekend, 20% off individual courses utilizing the code listed here, as well as an additional 10% off the already 20% off bundle of both courses together. A lot of people are still waiting to get into the chat room and live stream community, and those that finish the courses get automatically added to an express list. But once you are on that list, you still need to go to the website membership page and sign up in one of the two spots that open up each day. Now, last week we had a day where both spots did not get filled. So you need to go to that website and stay persistent, stay patient as we are doing this to ensure that we do not flood our chat room with new people, new questions. We're trying to keep it as productive and as efficient as possible. So keeping it to two people a day does that. We appreciate all the support. Let's get to the charts. Howdy, crypto friends. We're going to check in on Bitcoin, which the bounce is underway. ETH, XRP, IOT, XLM, and BCHSV all voted on by members. So the bulls are finally showing up. Our temporary bottom is in as far as I'm concerned. And I'm saying that because we have solid volume, bullish reversal daily candlesticks, and finally seeing some bull momentum, which we have not seen in quite some time. I personally scaled into some positions under 4,000, and I just layered my orders down 3911, 3811, 37, 36, 3511. I had it all the way down to 3000 and obviously only down to 3511 ended up filling. But at this point, I'm starting to scale out some of my initial positions to lock in that profit and to give me breathing room and to ensure that I remain at least profitable on that trade. So I'm going to be looking for a daily lower high to be set now, but I'm going to let some of this position ride a little bit longer as I just took uh, some more profit right before I started this video, just under 4100. So there's some clues that we can look at in the shorter term timeframes as to what were the signals that the bulls were showing up this time around. We knew we were extremely overdue for a bounce. Things were very magnified to the downside very quickly. At this point, the vast majority of the weekly candlesticks that we're going to look at have some lower wicks forming, but they're not bullish reversal candlesticks. And that's because it's just day number one of this bounce. And we're going to have to see, can this bounce follow through for another day? Can we break the daily lower high pattern where we're seeing lower highs pretty much every day? And can we see a bull move up to the daily exponential resistance, which is going to drop down another leg once this candlestick rolls over in just a couple of hours. But right now, it's the four-hour exponential moving averages that the bulls are trying to break. And this is the best attempt that they've had on this dump to break it ever since mid-5,000. We've only been able to touch the eight-period exponential on the four-hour, where here we're blowing through it at this point if the bulls can close this candlestick strong. Four-hour bull MACD cross, and we are looking at this little higher low and then continuation move on increased bull volume. And this candlestick is only halfway formed. So you can tell there's some pretty serious bull volume behind it compared to the bull volume that we've seen in the recent past. So looking all the way back to the 15 minute time frame, did the live video, said it doesn't look like our bottom's in at this point. We were still struggling at exponential resistance. We did end up getting one last flush down and it was the kind of thing where we hit a new low and then we saw a new high. And in a half an hour on that bounce, we saw well over a 10% bounce. So that's a capitulation kind of move, whether that's you know the bottom of the daily and the weekly time frame for the rest of 2019. I have no idea. We're going to take it one day at a time as always. But in terms of this being the temporary bottom capitulation, absolutely, that's what happened. And we can see the follow through on the 15 minute time frame. What made it different than this bounce attempt? It was a half an hour of a bull attempt, big upper wick of profit taking, and we gave back over half of that move in the half hour and the, or the hour, I should say, following that bull attempt. Whereas here we saw a half hour of bull action and then a healthy hour of consolidation, maintaining exponential support. It's the first time the 15 minute got a bull cross of those exponential moving averages since the mid $4,000 range. So that was signal number one. We then, after we changed that trend, we zoom out to the hourly time frame. In the hourly chart, we pulled back today. What stood out for me significantly was the volume. Look at the bear volume on this pullback. And we were anticipating the odds of an equilibrium being the most likely scenario, which it didn't end up happening favoring the bulls. But this morning we were looking and saying, all right, we're looking for an hourly higher low. There's no bear volume. It's pretty decent consolidation as far as volume is concerned. I anticipated the likely scenario was a bull move to set a lower high here. And obviously the bulls blew right through and got nice follow through on solid bull volume. So at this point, we're entering the period of resistance up here. They had a range pretty much between 4,000 
85 and 4,300s. So you could pretty much just put some lines here and mark this channel of price action that's going to act as resistance. And here we are just getting back to that. So it's easy for the bulls to move through areas where there's no price history, where we just dumped right through it. But then when you hit areas with price history, that's when we start to see some resistance levels come up. So on, at this point on the hourly time frame, any consolidation that we see over 3,627 will be a higher low. So bulls are very comfortable in the short term, we're going to get a bull cross of the exponential moving averages. And that's going to be the first time we've seen that since the mid 4000s yet again. And we're going to just look for healthy consolidation overnight to establish another hourly higher low, change the hourly trend and see a, a consolidation, establish support, then a lower high and a lower low. That would be the first red flag on this bull move. But we're seeing things that we have not seen in a, a week or two. And what I'm seeing is exponential five minute moving average support holding on these consolidation levels, big bull volume spikes for each leg up that we see. So we're looking at 15 minute exponential support to hold on the first back test. And then we'll look to the hourly to potential hold on the back test as well. So it's a shift where all these moving averages were resistance for so long. Now they're starting to act as support. Now we're starting to see bull crosses these exponential moving averages. And we're just waiting to see, can the bulls get another hourly higher low and higher high and clearly cross these exponential moving averages on the four hour. And it'll be very notable if we can get a bull cross of these exponential moving averages, which won't happen until you know late tomorrow at the earliest, in my opinion, unless we see a bull you know short squeeze move out of nowhere. Some decent bullish news articles, Ohio, is uh, implementing that they are going to accept Bitcoin for tax payments in Ohio for businesses. So they're trying to foster some tech growth in the blockchain sector. And it's interesting. I looked and saw that Ohio is the seventh most populated U.S. state. And I didn't know it was that high a population. So that's good news. Nothing huge, but a step in the right direction. And now we're going to watch what kind of follow through can these bulls put together. Again, at this point, I have exited. My average was probably maybe 37.11. By the time everything got averaged down, I have exited 40% of my position, one, one stack just below 4,000, another stack just below 4,100. And at this point, I'm, I'm all right sitting through some hourly consolidation. If we look to pull back and form an hourly high or low, that's just fine by me to sit through that with my 60% position left. And I wasn't all in on my account, but just with regards to how much of that position that I do have left. So... Now we're going to see, can the daily bounce get followed through tomorrow? Or are we just going to see an inside bar? That's going to be very telling. If it's just an inside bar, that's going to slow the bulls down. But if we do get that follow through and see some solid continuation and get over these four hour exponentials, then that is going to be a notable short term shift in momentum. Shorts starting to cover significantly. They were very high from this entire move, but you can see a little bit of a race to the exit the last two hours. So we're going to look for that to continue to pull back and we'll look for an equilibrium likely to form with a higher low. Don't expect the shorts to dump all the way back down to 26,000. So we'll look for a higher low. Again, the equilibrium doesn't matter to me. All that matters is how extended we are in the short term. That's what I look at the short, short charts for. And we could see shorts were really high while the price was really extended to the downside. And that is helping this bounce get a little bit more fuel to the upside. Ethereum. So some of the better bounces that occurred, um, IOT was one of the best bounces. BCHSV has certainly shown up for the bulls today. ETH, pretty solid bounce, fairly in line with Bitcoin, perhaps a little bit better, but all in all, double digit bounces percentage wise across the board, which is a great sign. So a high volume bullish reversal candlestick for Ethereum. And it's the same question as we just went through on Bitcoin. Can we form those higher lows? And can we get over the four hour exponential resistance? And it looks like my Ethereum chart has now frozen. So here's the four hour chart of Ethereum. We're getting over the exponential eight period resistance for the first time after all these rejections. Bull MACD cross on the four hour time frame. The 15 minute, very similar in terms of just the V shaped recovery and the bulls holding on to those gains for a good bit after that initial spike. And then, of course, the bull volume and the continuation, the hourly exponential moving averages on the verge of that cross, increasing bull volume. This is a great sign. Look at the last bounces. Declining bear volume or bull volume, another leg down. Declining bull volume, another leg down. Solid bull volume, low bear volume, increasing bull volume. Clear shift in momentum is going on. The question is, how long will it last? So not much to update 
125.89 is resistance on Ethereum. We're watching for the same thing as Bitcoin and an hourly higher low. Anything above 103.67 would do it. Bulls would love to keep the hourly exponential moving averages as support all night. That would keep the bulls in the short term driver's seat. XRP USDT, this is Binance. Solid volume, bullish reversal candlestick. We go to the four hour, we're getting over. Not very clearly though, but we need a little bit more follow through to clearly get over these exponential moving average resistances. We did get that little higher low and continuation move. The 15 minute time frame. again, it stood out with the increasing bull volume and the bull crosses of these exponential moving averages. The hourly closing in on the cross, again, increasing bull volume stands out yet again after the declining bull volume on the other attempts. Anything above 34 is a higher low on the hourly, looking for some healthy consolidation to form that four hour higher low. And that's pretty much where we are as we head into tonight on all these names, healthy hourly consolidation. IOT USD, big bullish reversal candlestick, and looks very similar to everybody else, but it is percentage gains that were more significant. We have a four hour higher low that's very clear here, and it's not as clear in these other names. If we just compare it to Bitcoin, I guess it is a clear little higher low there. But when I look at the IOT chart, it does stand out a little bit more clearly to me. Either way, that's a key support level going forward. The next resistance we're going to be looking up in terms of price level in the low 30s, 31, 32, and on the hourly time frame, anything above that 2712 level will be a higher low, keeping the bulls in control, exponential hourly support. Bulls ideally want to hold that level, increasing bull volume on the hourly after declining bear volume on the consolidation for the higher low. And the bulls are in control of the short term. Healthy hourly consolidation anticipated. XLM BTC, not much of a bullish reversal candlestick on the daily. We have a lower wick, but it's the same candlestick as yesterday. And that led to further downside. Four hour time frame is nowhere near exponential resistance. And the hourly chart is breaking the lower highs here. And let's actually make sure that we have broken these lower highs. And it's more of a double top. So 3775 is a double top. Clear double top. The bulls are hoping for an inverse head and shoulders pattern with the shoulder, the head. If we consolidate and form a higher low and then bull break that double top, that's definitely worth watching for because it's a very clear resistance at this point. And if the bulls are able to break that resistance level, we're then going to look up at 3835 and 3928 after that as the next two resistances. So clear double top. Bulls need to reestablish a support and then try and break that level. BCH SV. I've been doing my best to silently protest talking about either of these coins, but we're going to watch for an equilibrium on the daily time frame because there's certainly action showing up high, low, and we're looking for a lower high to form anywhere above $100. That might have already been our lower high. All depends on how the shorter term action goes. Four hour higher low attempting to form here. Anything above 77.22 will do it on declining bear volume. So we are looking for this higher low to hold. And because of the space, the amount of consolidation from 105 to 84, 20% pullback, we're just going to look for a lower high and an equilibrium on the four hour time frame if the bulls are able to form that higher low and shift that momentum back up. So four hour tightening range on watch could be worth watching for a bullish entry here shortly and want to make sure that we don't have a significant correlation to Bitcoin, which has broken clearly, but I would not want to make a bullish entry if it looks like Bitcoin's going to get hourly consolidation if they were correlated, but it doesn't look like that correlation is here. Let's see if we get a 15 minute trend change to be a potential indication that our four hour higher low has formed. Any bounce under 98.71 will just be a lower high. Then we need the higher low and trend change on that 15 minute time frame to look for that four hour higher low, or I should say the hourly higher low to be established. I was on the wrong time frame there. I was calling this the four hour chart. It's the hourly and we're testing that exponential support and trying to hold it. But the volume's looking pretty good in terms of the bulls maintaining control, at least on the initial bounce attempt to form that higher low. So overall, as we head into tonight, we are looking for healthy hourly consolidation. Any increases in bear volume would absolutely be a red flag. If we were to see bear volume comparable to the last three candlesticks, this is Bitcoin on Coinbase. But if the bear volume were comparable to the bull volume candlesticks, that would be a big red flag. Inside bar on this current candlestick, still a long way to go until it closes, but likely that an inside bar is going to form on this candlestick, and we'll see how that breaks. But again, anticipating healthy consolidation overnight. Best case scenario for the bulls, form a higher low over the next three, four hours, and then see continuation into tomorrow morning. That would be ideal to give faith and confidence of continuation. And again, my game plan is to currently ride out 60% of my position I would exit if we lose the hourly uptrend, and otherwise, I'm going to be looking for a target 
potentially towards the mid $4,000 range as the exponential resistance will be dropping down to the mid $4,000 range over the next two days. So a little bit more excitement for the bulls, especially the bulls that had cash and were able to enter some positions on this bounce. And the question is going to be, is this just a short-term bounce that will lead to a lower high? And the follow through on this bounce is going to be very, very telling. Right now, I can say the temporary bottom is in absolutely because of how much we bounced off of it at this point. But I can't say that, you know, we might not go lower next week. Over the next two days, I'm going to get a lot of information to gauge what kind of follow through do these bulls have. And if we do see another 5% from here, that's going to increase the odds significantly that our daily low is set for now. Because think about it, if we have a bull move that makes it into tomorrow and gets up another 5% and gets up even more than that, 5%, 10%, and we get up to here, the odds that we pull back and form a daily higher low and then try and change that daily trend are going to be much higher than if the bulls run out of steam right here. This is as high as they get, and then we start to pull back. So the more space that the bulls can create in terms of percentage distance from the low before we start consolidating back down and maybe losing the hourly uptrend, the more likely that our low is going to be in potentially for the end of 2018. Again, very early to try and make that guess, and it would be a guess at this point. Might as well just wait for more information. In another 24 hours, we'll have a much more clear picture as to whether or not that's the most likely scenario or not. So I appreciate you tuning in. I hope you all continue to do good things out there. And going to, let's see, what do we got? Oh, I wrote a wrap. A I had a, a buddy do a, an album fundraiser, a Kickstarter, and I donated an amount of money that got me a free song. So I wrote a rap for crypto about six, seven months ago. And it's certainly not the right kind of environment to be receptive to this rap, but it's fun. And my buddy's not a rapper, but he did a good job. So check it. All right, Dan, let's do this. So it started as a buzz and grew to a roar. Cryptocurrencies like you've never seen before. Dawn of a new age, financial independence. Instead of gold, we wearing blockchain pendants. The tech is not that easy to see, but has the possibility to rock industries. So climb aboard, or go into the moon, leaving behind bankers and their gloom. So where to start? Bitcoin, Litecoin, put some money down and hope your friends will join. So now you own it and think can be scary. FOMO and doubt can make it seem hairy. What the fuck is this? China shut down? This ride goes fast, why can't it slow down? But a deep breath and all time highs bring a smile to your face and a twinkle to your eye. Litecoin is your horse, Charlie Lee is your man, Vitalik, ETH got the master plan, but what's this, Jamie Dimon talking smack? Just a banker to have the feds back, first they laugh, and then they ignore, and then they fight and soon, they're all on the floor, but cryptos are here and they're here to stay, legit exchanges are on their way, got a compass in my heart charts on the screen the chart guys alert system making me green with dan the man to teach us the way cool composure he got something to say the chat community is the bomb check out the alerts at crypto.chartguys.com